On September 21st, 44 students from Bennington College joined the 400,000 people marching in support of direct action addressing global climate change. It was mad awesome. So inspiring. But let's backtrack a little. This is Forrest. She started the Environmental Action Group on campus a couple years ago. And this group thrives on trying to figure out how we students can do tangible things to help the environment while we're at college. This is Bennington College. It's a very small liberal arts college in the middle of Vermont, renowned for progressive, self-driven education. That's where we are. Action! This is John Lawson. He went to the climate march with us. You'll see more of him later. This is David Bond, our Keystone XL Pipeline course teacher. Yes, we have a class right now on the Keystone XL uh, Pipeline. In which the government agencies which are supposed to represent the public and be transparent to the public are increasingly preparing for eventual court battles. Mm -hmm. with the this is Allison Dennis. She's super awesome, teaches leadership and business. You'll see more of her later too. Yeah. This is me. I helped get us to the march. I also do video work, so I decided to bring some cameras along the way with us. This is our story. One, I was very curious about the march. Uh, it seemed like something that I would want to know about uh, and that I would not trust how it might be represented. And two, uh, I wanted to take my son to it and I thought my son should be there. I'm always interested in what's possible when large numbers of people converge in the same place at the same time. And uh, as I started to see momentum building for a large contingency for Bennington to go, that was exciting to me. And I started getting these emails saying that there was this People's Climate March happening in New York. I was like, wow. That would be so cool for our environmental action group to go to. And I was uh, contacted with regard to seeing if the college uh, in any way could help support students getting down there. We were able to subsidize an extra 15 tickets to have 31 on the bus. I always told myself that I would have issues that I would support. Part of that deal that I made with myself was that if I got asked to help in a way that I could, I would. So Erica said, let's go to the People's Climate March. And I decided this is the time. They're calling us, we've got to go. We've built all 31 seats, and we have a 13 people waiting list. Do you know what that means? Like all of your seats, you have 15 person waiting list. Yes. That went really, really well. I know. Well, when I came here freshman year, we had six people. It was kind of like a hustle to get those people. Um, but now there were more people than we could hold. Uh, signing up for the buses, which is really exciting to see. I don't know, it's just kind of a way of um, making the student interest and the shift in the student body that's normally invisible become visible through this protest. Bennington College people are here. Everyone's here. Yeah. All right, you're good. Cool. You're happy, Camber. Like, How do you guys feel? Positive. <laughs> All right. There's going to be thousands and thousands and thousands of people at this rally. We, the SIT group is here. We also have Bennington College here. Ow! And then we have Second Congregational Church. All right. We've got a couple of different groups going. Woo! Ow, ow. Woo! All right, everyone, welcome to New York City. Um, woo! Biggest woo! climate match. You are here to join the biggest climate match in history. I hope you're all very excited. Woo! Um, woo! It is, it is going to be massive. We're talking kind of 30 blocks worth of people. We finally arrived at the designated meeting point. We were so happy to find you. Follow me! Yeah, the rest of us. Son of a gun! <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
uh, it felt really ex exciting. I mean, it was, uh, even with the anticipation of a lot of people, it was still shocking how many people were there. Uh, just a tremendous amount of people gathered. Uh, and it's always exciting to be part of something big like that. It was invigorating as someone who would like to make a difference in terms of environmental sustainability of the world to see that that many people are united around that goal is it's empowering it's like it felt like history and um i think that's something i won't forget anytime soon an alum from the 90s, I am, I'm blown away. I'm inspired on a daily basis by uh, uh, the critical mass of students on campus who are uh, not only deeply care about the environment, but who uh, through their daily actions are, are practically making a difference on this campus in Vermont and, uh, and more broadly. Generally, uh, the Environmental Action Group has been doing a lot more since, uh, going after going to the uh, climate march it was it's an amazing it's an amazing thing i think that that was a, a really inspirational thing to continue our work in these smaller scale environments it's something to really remember when we get back to vermont or our specific homes you know that that there are uh, really we're not alone in this as much as it may seem i just don't think there's doubt anymore that uh, uh, deep environmental concern and caring is um, is mainstream. 400,000 people is a lot of people uh, to all show up in the same place at the same time. Ultimately marching for significant action on climate change together was just so heartening. The amount of support that existed there that day was perhaps more powerful than I mean most things that you get to see in your life.